Hey, good to see you here. So today we are going to discuss a lead good problem which is jewels and stones. So let's see the problem statement. So it's given that uh, you are given strings, jewels representing the type of stones that are jewels and stone representing the stones you have. Each character in stone is a type of stone you have. You want to know how many of the stone you have are also jewels. And this is also a case sensitive problem. So let's see. So let's see there is a jewel string containing a lowercase a and uppercase a. And then there is a stone uh, containing so many elements. So what we have to do in this is to check how many a's are present. How many this capital A's are present. So this is the very simple approach which we can apply here to get the required answer. So you can see here it's given a small z but in the stone section there is a capital Z so we cannot match this that's why the answer is zero. So let's move ahead and uh, look into the approach of it. So here this is a string jewels and this is a string stones. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a map of this jewels. So we are going to make a map of jewels. Uh, so firstly, what we are going to do is initialize, like map each and every element with a zero. That is A zero and then capital A also zero. Then in the, uh, in the forward approach, what we are going to do is we are just going to check the elements of the stones. And we are just trying to count the elements of the stones only if this element is present in the map. So here you can see that small a is already here in the map. That's why we are incrementing the count of 1. And then for the capital A part, we have two a's. That's why the map store 2 as an answer because it is incrementing each time it found a match from the map and the stones element. So after doing all the iteration, what we get is this summation of the uh, keys whatever present in the map uh, sorry summation of values that is 1 plus 2 equal to 3 so this is the simple approach now let's move ahead and see the solution of it so firstly let's say n and p be the length of jewels and stones and then i'm using an unordered map containing consists of character and integer and then what we are doing is just initializing each and every element of jewels as zero. That is, we are mapping each and every element uh, in a map with zero only. And then what we are doing in the forward step, like here, we are checking that if the stone element or the character in the stone is already present inside the map, then we have to simply just increment the count of it. And then in the answer, what we are storing is just adding the values of whatever the um, whatever this uh, map second element is that is whatever the values of a map for every key pair so after doing all this we get the required answer and we return it simply so let's try to run this okay yeah it's working okay so this is the solution for the problems jewels and stones and you can find the github link for the code in the description so thank you